Hello friends, uh, welcome to Tech Lake Video Tutorials. In this ongoing uh, Spark SQL uh, continuous uh, video sessions, today's session I'm going to give you more uh, detail about window function with uh, aggregations. So previous session we covered window with uh, ranking functions, like what is rank, dense rank, percentage rank, entire rank and row number. And uh, today's video, we will understand aggregation functions and the next video we will understand remaining uh, analytical functions remaining analytical functions so when it comes to aggregation functions so major difference between uh, group by and window function and uh, how we will uh, use a window function for aggregations and how we will use a group by for aggregations uh, let's see with one example you'll get more clarity so here I have uh, given a two employee table. You can take any employee table to understand uh, sample data, okay? So these tables I have created, even in your community edition, you can delete and create it again. I have given a script as well. Drop table, create table and insert data. Okay, so let's understand one by one. First, I will show you the data from this table, employee table. It is having employee number, employee name, manager, department number salary commission okay so let's let's understand first aggregation functions like i want number of employees in this table then we can go with counter so aggregation functions default it will take input as a multiple rows output it will give you single row similarly if you are looking for i want the maximum salary from that column name called salary max salary i want a minimum salary so using aggregation function we can get minimum salary and i'm looking for just write in a separate line you'll get more clarity on this even you can format the query so sum of salary I can give alias name, total salary, and you can go with average, average salary. So what will happen whenever you go with the aggregation functions, it will take input as a multiple records, output will give you single record. Then if you go with a non-aggregated column, consider uh, I want employee name, I want employee name i want employee number okay then what will happen so aggregation functions will take input as multiple rows output single row but here every row it will display right it it won't fit in the same window that that's called uh, we need to apply grouping on top of this we need to apply grouping on top of this so if every row is a unique then it it's, it will it will give you individual salary there is no use of you are applying count star minimum maximum consider group by e name employee number so this table every employee every employee will be there so when it comes to aggregations right every employee their minimum salary maximum salary total salary average salary everything will be same only there is no difference then when we can group this data if we have a other than this unique data if you have consider i want a job wise job wise so list of jobs whatever list of jobs are available so job wise it will give you group by non-aggregated column and the remaining other aggregated column it will group the data with aggregations and non-aggregated column non-aggregated column even if you have multiple records when you go with a group by it will give you a unique combination all sales four people are there their max salary minimum salary total salary average salary manager like this it will give you similarly if you go with the department number wise Even you can use a column name or you can use a, a position based first column is a department number you can use a one one means position based it will go for this so this way which you can go with grouping the data using aggregation functions 
Group by is one class and grouping the data, non-aggregated column and aggregated columns. Then what is exactly window function with aggregations and uh, how we will use that? So if, when, if you are looking for aggregations and if you are looking for without grouping, because when it comes to this non-group, non-aggregated columns, if you have more, every column should be there in group by. Consider if I go with a job, the job column also should be there in group by. Because those combination only it can group this aggregated columns. And without that, every record, every row, I want to display as it is, and I want to do some aggregations. So that is possible with window functions. Let's understand this. First, we'll go with employee number, employee name, salary. Then I will go with the sum of salary using over class, over. Then you can use a partition by order by. Partition means dividing into multiple uh, windows, that is major windows. First, we'll see order by. So without order by, like at least it should be there order by or partition by. One class should be there. I'll use order by salary default ascending as accumulated. So running total from employee table. So whenever you go with the window functions, right? So if you are using a sum, what will happen? Order by salary. So you see employee numbers, every employee number it is displaying and salary, minimum salary, maximum salary, we are applied order by, you see ascending order. So 800, then whenever you go with the sum, right? With the window function over class, it will give you running totals or cumulative. Cumulative means 800, 800, then 800 plus 950, 1750. So 800 plus 900, 1750, 1750 plus 1100, 2850. So that is called running totals or cumulative value. It will give you cumulative values. If you are looking for cumulative values and, and you don't need to worry about other columns, yeah, just you can use the aggregation function. And non-aggregated columns you can leave as it is. It will give you running totals at every column level and if you want to divide this into multiple windows then you can use a partition by so partition by i want to do the department wise so each department wise employee is their salary i want running totals so let's take display here department number then you will get more clarity on this okay look at this so department 10 three employees are there their salary 1300, 1300, 13 plus 2450, 3750 plus 5087. So each department wise, it is giving you running totals. Or you can say cumulative values. Cumulative values. Similarly, you can go with the minimum, maximum, average, even number of count, cumulative count. Okay, even you can go with minimum salary, max salary, average salary, and count. Count means running total. Running count, running average, running max, running minimum. Let's understand the difference here. Whenever you are going for window function, partition by partition by is nothing but your data is getting divided into multiple windows based on that column. So department number is a column and the values based on those values. So 10th department, one window it is divided. One, two, three, count. One record, second record, third record, the count is giving. Then let, let's understand first running total sum, sum means, 1300 salary plus this one 3750 plus 5000 then running minimum salary so when this come to in this window first it will verify in this the same value the next this two it will compare this one this one minimum is 1300 same 1300 in this three minimum is 1300 then it will go to the max max here don't get confused here first record in this record max is the same value 
then this record this record max is 2450 then this record this record this record running sequence basis you need to understand max is this one then this record average the same value this record this record average on its 75 and this record this record this record average is this one similarly each department wise you can see if you're not using a department wise then it will go with the total data set it will go with total data set so aggregation functions with window with window uh, window over class which you can go with the running totals or cumulative values we can call it as cumulative values or running totals any spaces sorry column name we are not remote so without partition by just uh, over over class with order by now you see this entire data set minimum salary is this then uh, running averages running max these two records max is this this three records max is this this three rec four records like this it will go with this so I, I mentioned order by as a salary right that's why it is going with this if you mention as order by as a department number then it will change that values again running totals department wise everything it will change now you see department time department time and now this record this record three records are there the three records running totals is this next these all are five records running total is this next running total is this okay so department wise total it is giving you department wise total it is giving. because we are we are done department wise order by so department 10 running total running minimum running maximum then this way which you can go with window function window function with aggregations the next video will understand more into analytical functions what is lead lag current record previous record okay so window framing window frame which is every frame current row previous row next row that we will understand in next video if you like this video please subscribe my channel see you in another video thank you have a good day